Oh man, let me take a sip of this water. Oh. Mmm. Video will start in a minute. All right, guys. So basically, today we're gonna to be talking about part two of the Olympia. No nonsense, no complaining. Well, let's just get straight into it after when it hits one minute mark. Unfortunately, my camera actually stopped and it actually reached the maximum limit. And I was about to talk about all of the Black Ops One maps and Black Ops Two maps that had that the Olympia featured in it. So today I. I can be explaining this finally because I did delete almost every single one of my videos. No nonsense, no complaining. Oh, and also, like this video if you're still here. Yeah, it took me like three videos to do this. Okay, so I was about to explain Kino Der Toten at all map, all, all Olympia locations. So let's just get straight into it. Kino Der, Kino Der Toten. No, I forgot to explain this. Before when I when I ex, when I explain, I'm also going to be explaining them and words and also how to get there. There's going to be no gameplay because I don't have a good enough camera to actually show gameplay. But I'm just going to be speaking it out in words and then you can just think it in your head or something. I don't know. So let's just get started with this video. No nonsense, no complaining. Kino Der Toten, at the bottom left staircase in the starting room. If you got that correct, if you got that correctly, you won't even have to um hear what I'm gonna have to say next. All you have to do is when when you spawn, look to your left, left, then go straight, then boom, there it is, the two-barreled shotgun, baby. Ooh. Five, in the starting room area in a small hall hallway where, where quick arrive is found so basically if you know where quick revive is then just go straight to quick revive now if you don't know where quick revive is when you ever when you spawn i believe that you spawn right in front of the judging table and then you just have to go left go inside that like little hallway area and then boom there's quick revive Maybe I maybe I boost up your self esteem. Yeah. So basically, you you look towards the quick revive, then you turn around, then you just go straight in between like the little like trap centers, and then you'll see the Olympia. Boom! There it is. Helping you out, right? Uh, ascension in the certifuge room on the second floor. So basically. What I mean by the third diffuse room, it's going to be in the starting room, but on the second floor. Uh, you ever um, heard about um, a second floor starting room? Yes, we have. Kino Dratoni was a second starting room, you dumb cunt. Yes, 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 I know that, I know that, but but let me guess. Do any of you actually consider Kino can all their totem a second floor starting room hey, hey i see i see people raising their hands i see people don't you guys can both decide who wins in the comments down below so enough nonsense let's just get straight into how to get to the olympia so basically you have to wait for that on pad to go down whatever it's called and stuff so basically then you have to go straight a little you know, I'm not even going to be doing this a bit. All you have to do is just find an, a staircase, go up the staircase, and go to your left, and then boom. You'll, you'll see, and, and you'll see, you'll see it, okay? You got it out of me. Call the dead, let's get straight into it. So all you have to do, well, it's on the bridge towards, towards the left of where players spawn. It's basically... This is actually wrong. Unless if you just um, look straight at the window instead of not... Alright, alright. I'm getting to the of this. I gotta stop. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that whenever when you find a bridge on Call of the Dead, it will have the M14 and the Olympia on it. So, that's just it. Shangri-La. 
At first, I actually thought that, that the Olympia was the only starting room weapon until when I actually saw the M14 on the wall, but I really couldn't see it because it was like a white little area, so I really couldn't see it. So basically, if you really want to so basically, if you really want an M14 video exactly like this, pre please give this video up to 5 likes and I'll do the M14 video. And if you guys just don't even want to like my video, that's fine. I'll just do it anyways. I'm just maybe we can like get a goal. If you like know what I mean. So, basically, whatever one you spawn, there's going to be be an Behind the pack a punch, not behind the pack a punch, but in front of it. Sorry, I got the two words mixed up. So let's just get straight into it. On the wall, left, on a wall left of the of the spawn point. Let me say that in a better words. How will you go to your left, go straight, and then go to your little bit of the right, and then go left. Then boom. Voila. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the Olympioli. Okay, now Moon is going to be the only starting room. Which is not going to have the Olympia in it. Now, I'm talking about Area 51. Not the one where you um, have to get on your spacesuit. Whatever. I'm talking about that one. That one only has Speed Cola and Jug and Pack-a-Punch. That's the only reason why that is there. For, for the whole entire reasoning for Moon, but it's Area 51. I don't, I don't know the storyline at all. <laughs> so, Moon, on where the Olympia is, is going to be on a wall outside the area with Quick Revive near Tunnel 6. So, just listen to the words coming out of my mouth for like the last second. Left. The left wall. Tunnel 6. So if you don't know what tunnel what tunnel 6 is, it's going to be the door over to the right. You have to go down, you have to like do like a great at PhD flopper, then boom, voila! Ravioli, ravioli, get it beat Olympioli. Now, now let's head on to Black Ops 2. The, Olymp the Olympia on Trent. On transit, I have no idea where you spawn on transit, but I, have, but I know exactly where you spawn in on, on transit. I don't know, like, the exact location, like, like inside the building, but I know what, what building that you spawn into. The building where it has quick rock, okay? So, ba so basically, <laughs> I don't know if there's any of explaining it, but let's just get straight into it. So basically, I think this is where they spawn. I, I believe they spawn right in front of the transit logo. And then go to your left. And just walk up to it. And then you will see the Olympia chalked, which is blue. Voila. Done. Go straight into the next one. Farm. Now, if you want if you want to find out how to get, get to farm, all you have to do is just go into the actual farm... Um, go into between um, the boxes and stuff. It's going to be really hard to get into the boxes. And up on one of the staircases, it, there is going to be um, two boxes, which will have the Olympia behind it. Boom. Voila. Olympia! Town. Now, town, you're really going to have to do some explaining with me. So, I believe in town, you spawn right in front of the, right in front of the pack a bunch. So, if you want to do like a speed run with this, you're going to have to go around the fire. Then you're going to have to go where um, the mystery box will spawn, where double tap is. It's so basically when you got to that side of the map, then go out, turn around, go back to um, the hill where you um, jump down. Look over to your right, do like a one. Get like a 90 spin, maybe like a 91, 92 ish. If you, whatever sensitivity that you have your controller on, and then boom, voila, Olympia die rise. This is gonna be the easiest one to explain right in front of your face, 
Boom. Voila. Now for Mob of the Dead, both of the areas, Grief, Grief, and the regular Mob of the Dead and Survival is going to be in the same exact spot. Now you just have to listen. So you have to revive yourself. And then you're going to have to go into that little room which has two doors in it. I believe that this is the room where it has the, it has the Olympia or the M14. I don't know. But this room both has the M14 and the Olympia in the room. I believe it is, um... Yeah, so when you walk in, it's going to be over to um, your left or on the one side. Woo, voila. Murray. Now, I believe all you have to do is, um, look over to your right, go straight, boom, voila. I don't know if they even have the Olympia on grief mode for Buried, but if they did, it's probably gonna, gonna be, um, up in, um, the farm. Not like the farm on, like, the map farm, but, like, barn. And then I believe it's gonna be in there. Unfortunately, guys, Buried is going to be the last map which has the Olympia on it. And that's actually when the Olympia actually just died out. I believe three years later until when Treyarch finally decided to add a new DLC shotgun, the Olympia. So basically, the, the Olympia has got awakened and it's the same exact shotgun again and it wrecks noobs e even better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series, I am going to be making more videos just like this. And, um, maybe, maybe we can do something about the M14. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back straight away with another video. Back at it. Peace, guys. Bye!